Hey, this is Todd from Snapfresh Farm. I'm back again and I'm doing another video blog on what uh, I've been working on with this uh, build for the uh, NFT build with the uh, NFT tubes that I've got. And I wanted to show you something new that I worked on and something I've added to the system that I think is going to really have a big effect on the growth and also uh, the health of the plants that are growing. I uh, decided to add uh, more aeration into the system by individually putting tubes in the tubes, uh, aeration uh, with aeration tubes going in and having the tubes directly uh, aerated with the with air stones in each one. So I think that's going to have a great uh, influence on the growth and I'm already seeing that the, the growth is uh, doing well. Everything's green, as it should be, and um, continues to be green and keeps growing. I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm growing in the system right now, and I've added uh, some uh, plants that uh, wasn't grown before. I've got some arugula growing in here. I've got parsley growing in, in here. Uh, also, uh, I put uh, pak choy in, and that's starting to grow. So I'm going to show you some of that, and I'm going to show you the new aeration system. I'll try to make this short and uh, you can hopefully get something from this and if you're building something like this system with uh, the tubes, um, the NFT, NFT system, uh, hopefully this will be helpful and uh, it'll give you some ideas, uh, maybe you can add it as well. So uh, let's go. So in the NFT system, one of the things I did was in the 27 gallon bin that I used to have aeration in that. I do have one tube going uh, to that with an air stone in here, so I do have aeration going. Uh, you can see it in the water, uh, and there's a tube coming in there. That that black tube right there goes in there and, and uh, goes to an air stone. That's coming from uh, what I did was I moved the air pump, and I'm hanging the air pump from the shelving, which is this metal shelving here. Um, I hung it with uh, the actual. Uh, the black tubing that I'm using uh, for the air pump and all the different uh, all the different tubing going to the to the NFT system I'm using that kind of tubing to hang that pump and it's uh, really deadening the sound of it uh, nicely and then I have uh, added to that I have uh, the zip strips and that's holding it on and I've got that to multiple parts of the the metal shelving. From that air pump uh, I've got a 10, 10 segment uh, I guess you could call it valve system and from each one of those valves you've got the black tubing coming and that black tubing goes to every one of the uh, pipes and I've got 10 pipes in the system so as you can see the, the system's got the, uh, the different NFT uh, PVC pipes. Uh, the top top has six, and then the bottom has four. And it's easiest in the bottom to see how the aeration is going in. Uh, I've got uh, the air pump little tube goes into the PVC pipe, and then from there, there is inside here. You'll notice that there is an air stone. The air stone is aerating the water as it's coming from the top pipes into the PVC pipe here. So what this does is it aerates the water going through the pipe, goes all the way through aerated, does a nice job of aerating the plants, adds oxygen to the plants and they grow very well. Um, I've got lettuce here growing. Uh, I just started with Pak Joy. Uh, that's growing really well. And then I've got some arugula. I also put in some strawberries. So we're gonna try strawberries in this system see how they do. So I've got a bunch of those in the pipes. Mostly I'm, I'm growing uh, lettuce and pak choy and I also have parsley. Parsley grows like crazy in this system. Um, it, it just takes over and I have to keep trimming it back. These plants right here, this parsley right here has been trimmed at least once or twice all the way down to almost right down to the, the base and the root systems are incredible they're growing really well so we've got good growth parsley's great 
you just trim them, hang them, let them dry, and then you can add it into your, your cooking. I don't have a lot of lettuce in here right now because I'm just starting to grow a new set. But uh, I do have, uh, you'll notice that there are still some lettuce growing in here, uh, mainly romaine lettuce. And then I've got some arugula. The arugula that we grew is really sharp, <laughs> and, and I mean the taste. Uh, the taste of the arugula is so sharp that you have to mix it with the, the romaine lettuce and it's also good to put in some other things with it so that the sharpness of it isn't so, uh, isn't so sharp. So that's the, the newest thing. Every one of the pipes has an air stone in it now and that air is starting at the, the beginning of the pipe where the water is coming in. The air stones are aerating the pipes and I'm going to see what the effect has on the plants as they're growing having that air stone in there. I used to have the three air stones inside the, the tub here, but I changed that and moved them now. And now that system is uh, literally hanging from the shelf. It's being regulated through the, the valves. Each one of these valves regulates how much air goes into uh, each, of the, each of the tubes. So I can put more or less air in depending on how it goes. Right now I've got them pretty much set uh, about the same across and uh, aeration is happening through all of them. So you can see that in pretty much, I don't know if you can see it too well here, but each one of these has a pipe, a black pipe going in it and aerating. So that's what I've been working on. Uh, this system is running incredibly. If you want to copy this system, feel free to do that from the other videos that I've shown you. Uh, there's a lot of information on the other videos and you can subscribe to Snap Fresh Farm. Uh, you'll keep getting videos on any changes I'm making and any anything else that I come up with. Um, and that's about it. So thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.